Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another uh, video. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna put some gifts together. Today is December 23rd and uh, tomorrow we're going for a uh, family dinner. And there's gonna be a fair bit of family there. So what I wanna do is put uh, gift packages together for each household. We sort of uh, don't, or I don't anyway, give gifts on an individual basis during Christmas or the holidays or New Year's, however way you end up celebrating it, right? Uh, but what I do share during this time of year is basically uh, some of the food, some of the preserves, that we've made over the year, right? And if you've seen some of the previous videos that we've made, uh, these are some of the jams uh, that we ended up making. We got, uh, I got two different, uh, three different types of jams here actually. Got uh, our crab apple, okay, crab apple butter that we made. And uh, we put out a playlist for this, right? And um, this is basically some of those some of those crab apple preserves, crab apple jam that we ended up making uh, during that live stream and during the videos that we put together. Okay. This one is our plum, those little plum jams that we live streamed cooking these with right these were uh, i think it took five and a half hours or so to cook these up so we've got a fair bit of these and these are really tart okay um and i know one uh family collective that really likes tart i've got a bigger jar of this so i'm going to give them a bigger jar a bigger version of this one okay and uh the third thing or the uh, third thing yeah third thing we're good there's only, let's check it out. Yeah, there's only three types of preserves that I've brought out here um, that I want to give away because those were the ones that we had a fair bit of, right? Uh, we did end up making blackberry uh, jam as well that um, we don't have enough to pass around because we've already passed around a fair bit of it, right? There's only, a, I think, like three or four jars left, or, left for us for the rest of the year. Uh, but the other thing I want to uh, give to the family members is also honey and these are the jars of honey right if you recall we put out i think we put out two videos or three videos of honey but all the jars of honey that you see here that you're going to see is the jars of honey that we made when we took a few buckets of honey and I think we took six buckets of honey, five pound buckets of honey and jarred up a whole bunch of honey and these are the ones and some of the ones the honey has crystallized, okay? And there's a couple of these that haven't crist um, crystallized. I'm not sure why that is, because they came from the same batch, uh, but the honey might have been, you know, gathering their pollen from different types of flowers for each individual one of these. These were, both of these were sitting in the same location, so it can't be temperature, um, because they weren't stored in any different part of the house right so if anyone knows why from the same batch which could be it was basically end of summer honey I believe or it might have been uh, yeah I believe it was end of summer honey so one crystallized one hasn't I'm not sure why that is the case okay I found it interesting pulling these out because we jarred our, all these and put them aside right in our storage area um, and it was interesting to see that there's a couple of the ones and this one is partially crystallizing take a look it's just starting to crystallize right you can see it in the reflection or in the light shining through it right take a look it's pretty cool honey magic liquid right magic liquid as to how i'm gonna try to put these packages together um basically i have some uh, comic book magazine bags like they're bigger than comic book size they're magazine format right and i've got some of my you know will end up reboarding comic books right i got a and some of the comic books that we sold on uh sold online i've taken out the old boards and i've put new boards in there new bags and boards right so i have a handful a fair bit of these uh, comic book boards hanging around and i do keep these on the side because we end up using for some reason they come in really handy 
Okay, sometimes we cut these up and in a pot, we put them under a pot if we're, there's a lot of liquid in there and stuff like this. And there's, diff there's different, different places we end up using these. Uh, believe it or not, it's very weird how handy just a sheet of cardboard comes in, right? Um, so I got the bags, I got the cardboards. So what I wanna do is basically give one jar of honey per family, one crab apple butter and one of the tart ones. So I wanna give them a selection of one a pop. And what I would just wanna do right now is just label them and put them together. And then we might spend a little bit of time jazzing them up. We might not. I got some ribbons here, but these aren't the good ribbons. I haven't found the good ribbons. Uh, we end up keeping our ribbons somewhere in a jar, but I haven't been able to find them. So the odds are we're just gonna put them in the bags, close them up with, uh, you know, these things you get from the grocery store, the metal paper things that you wrap things with. Okay, close them up. And then um, what we end up doing is, uh, I might wait until I can find that box of ribbons and, uh, and do it that way. Let's check this out. So each one of these is about this big, right? So I'm just gonna cut enough cardboard. So the cardboard is sitting under the back. So the thing is sitting straight. Okay. Um, usually I just end up uh, in the past, what we've done, we've given them, you know, one or two jars. This time, because it's three of them, you need to have to sort of uh, put it together in a bag. Tighten it up. Let's check this out. So this should be, this should be good. That should work. That fits. Check it out. That fits like one, and I'll put one more beside it. I could even cut this a little shorter, but let's see what it's going to look like. Right. Which is pretty good. It's just flat on the bottom. Right. Now these bags are really sturdy, um, but. Because the ends of the cardboards are sharp, take a look. because these guys are sharp, uh, what I want to do is I want to bend the edges of the cardboard so they don't uh, puncture the bag. The bag should hold, but the jam and honey, you know, three jars, one uh, 500 mil and a couple of 250s, and there's going to be a couple that are going to be 250, uh, 500 mils, right? So let's take a look. Yeah, that's better. Take a look. So the thing bends up, so it's not gonna puncture the bag. So let's see how this is gonna sit. And I do have, um, check this out. I did bring a whole bunch of, from the comic book hauls we've gotten in the past. I got a bag of like this bubble stuff. Right. So anytime, uh, you know, some of the comic books that we've sold, we've put, uh, I put them in bubble wrap. Some of them uh, I haven't because they were bigger boxes or they were, had enough uh, protection. And we end up using the bubble wraps for a fair bit of stuff, different types of gifts and whatnot. So let me cut this because what I want to do is I want to put the jars uh, in bubble wrap. A little bit anyway between each one so they don't bang against each other so as you can tell I haven't figured out how I'm going to do this yet right but it should be fairly straightforward let's see okay. this thing is nice is that cutting okay it's cutting okay so let's take a honey let's put that in there and just put it like that and I do want to put the labels on these two I still haven't got around to labeling everything, right? I don't think I ever will, tell you the truth. Uh, it's just the way it is. Because one thing that I found with labeling jars is when they sit around for a while, it's a sort of song and dance to take the labels off. The sticky stuff gets on there. And I don't like it. And there's nothing like, you know, like a clean glass without any labels, right? If you know what you're preserving, it's fantastic. But giving them as gifts, uh, pretty important to, uh, to label things, right? So let's just, let me do a few of these. Uh, by the way, just painters, painter's tape. 
I found painter's tape to be uh, fantastic uh, for uh, for for using in multiple places, right? Okay, so we're just gonna go honey, honey plum, plum jam, and crab apple butter, crab apple butter. Right. So let's put honey on here. Honey. <laughs> There's our labels. <laughs> honey. <laughs> Fantastic. Simple. And you know, if you give people a gift like this, when they see it, they'll know who it's from. If they're used to getting it, right? I go, oh yeah, that's. That's what Chicho gives us every year, or something like this, right? And all I'm doing is, uh, this should work because I'm just gonna close this up so it shouldn't move around. I'm not wrapping all of the jars in bubble wrap. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the side of it. So the next jar that goes in is touching the bubble. Okay. Crab apple butter. There's crab apple butter. And I'm making the labels uh, face out. Right. Let's see. That way, when they look into the thing, right, take a look so far. Honey. <laughs> crab apple butter. <laughs> we need plum. And the plum, I'm just going to put a little bit of bubble under it. That way. If this system works, the rest of this uh, should be relatively quick. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh yeah, we should put the plum jam. Oop. Take a look. There's a plum jam. And over a year, we've given some families some of these already. And they love it so now unfortunately the bags are a little little tight right think about i wish they were a little bit little bit bigger but i don't have any bigger bags just putting two in would look pretty right. maybe we should just do two what do you think <laughs> we'll do two and we put this one on the side and anyone that likes the sour the tart because this is extremely tart and it's got the seeds in it too take a look and it's got the seeds in there as well right some people i found they don't like jam with seeds in them i don't know why okay you know what i'm gonna do this so it closes up tightly and we're gonna take the plum jams as well with us so that's good that's like a little care package thing in the jeep pretty right. well i don't know pretty is the right word <laughs> uh functional right functional and what i'm gonna do i just got bag here so i'm just gonna or a box here so i'm just gonna put these things in the box and put the plum ones on the side and because we're putting the plum ones on the side you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wrap the plum ones in a larger bubble thing and these are fantastic right let's see <laughs> they're crazy the things we take pleasure from right it's great i do have an exacto knife here too so that might be better for bubble wrap Feed it. Feed it assembly line stuff. Here, let's put this. Okay, that's in there. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. It was just gonna be too tight uh, for the, and we won't include the. 
guys, I'll trade the names of the companies in the back of the some of the places. Oh, this one now and then bucks. Check this out. Check this out. This is this this board is from now and then books. I'll show you this because this company, this, this store is no longer around. Now and then books. Okay in kitchener ontario and harry was the owner of the place and i put out a video talking about uh the one time that i almost got my hands on amazing spider-man number one and i share a little bit of little story uh from this bookstore and from harry the owner of the place and for the longest period now and then books was considered to be the oldest comic book open comic is closed now because harry died uh, i think in 2005 or something like this or 2000s i believe anyway um, and it was the longest comic book store uh the oldest comic book store in uh, canada in the united states i believe north america that would include mexico as well right and harry was well known in the comic book community and he also has an award uh, named that after him an Eisner Award I believe and uh, he was a really nice guy he loved comic books and uh, that store was my first real introduction to a comic book store where I had a comic book box pull list and I would pick up every week and stuff learn a lot there learn a lot there honey and let's do crab apple crab apple butter okay so each one of these double things we're gonna put uh, honey and crab apple butter okay because the honey we know that everybody loves and the crab apple butter now uh, you know what let's make one a big one because we're gonna give uh, one family a big crab apple butter one household of big crab apple butter and these are amazing 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 right so let's put the crab apple butter Ooh, we gotta put bubble on it let's put bubble on it so it doesn't bang around right? got to love the bubble and we got honey and here's the honey we'll give them a crystallized honey okay Two big jars going here. Nice. Then we can close it off. Take a look. Fantastic. Great gift. Great gift. Right? There's a lot of honeybees that made the honey, and we picked and made the crab apple. Lots of love in this one. Let's close this off. Perfect. And we'll find the ribbon box and put nice ribbons on these. And I'm gonna put a little, oh, this is okay, we got lots of bubble. We'll put, uh, oh yeah, I should put the label on here. Uh, plum jam. Plum jam. Right. Put the plum jam on there and then we'll wrap it up with the bubble. All right. Put it in the box. This is absolutely amazing. For pastries, making pastries, if you use jams for pastries, for top of pastries and stuff, this is it. All right. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. Let's do, actually, we don't need to do a whole thing. We'll cut the sky in half as well. So that's two families taken care of. We got uh, six six households. We're gonna give. Uh, is it six? I hope so. Maybe. Uh, should we cut up the now and then books? I have a lot of these. So now and then books, you're going as a present to 
somebody's house. You know what? I'm going to include the now and then books as well. Who knows who's going to get this one? There you go. <laughs> I know who I'm going to give this one to. There's, I have cousins that I've, uh, uh, a few years ago, each family members, uh, there's two households, uh, cousins, uh, the ones that uh, we played Monopoly with, the ones that we did a live stream Monopoly session with, the ones that the full sessions that we've loaded on to BitChute, uh, the Monopoly, we did 18 Monopoly games over a weekend, and I'm actually going to be, I've already uploaded, by the way, if you're on YouTube, watching this on YouTube, I've already uploaded the full live stream sessions of the monopoly games onto youtube there's 17 or 18 videos i just haven't made them public yet and at some point i'm going to be taking a, a bill hicks break and what i'm going to do is uh, release i believe one or two videos a day while we uh, sort of take a break do some back-end work and still have content coming up and those live stream games are absolutely amazing i tried to get them to come over this summer for us to play monopoly do another marathon monopoly weekend but uh, it didn't happen people were out of town and busy and whatnot right so this one's definitely gonna go to them here's a honey here's a crystallized <laughs> scared me. i pushed it in that's why it'll pop out again i think that's a fun game <laughs> right crystallized honey so let's do this let's put honey on there and we're gonna give them crab apple butter honey crab apple butter they might be able to read my writing who knows? Here's our honey. Honey is easy to read. Crab apple butter, more difficult. Especially with my scribble. So honey, we need that little bit of bubble. butter let's give a crab apple butter All right. the top of it uh, because it's exposed to a little bit of oxygen in the jar it's gotten dark right apple if you leave it out it gets darker right so sucked in all the oxygen on it it should be fine should I give him one that's not as there's a fair bit of space on this one I mean, it might have been towards the end of the jar uh, pots that we we're putting together less space on this one so I might give them this one well somebody's got to get this one no somebody's got to get this one there are the ones hey come here okay let's do this together butter and we're gonna give them the plum as well right so here's number three and we need a bubble wrap bubble wrap no these are too small let's do this one this was from the these bubble wraps were from the huge huge buy we did off uh, this one seller for 
a few months. I think in the end, we ended up getting like a thousand books from the guy for like less than a dollar US a pop, right? Which was uh, fantastic. We need the, the bottom part of it. Let's do another bottom. At some point, uh, we're going to go through and do a little ASMR math on those buys, by the way. Uh, once I get a little bit more stuff completed from my end, hopefully we'll get to it in 2020. So, oop, here's another bag. Let's just put that. Oops, I gotta fold them the other way. That'll work. Let's put that there right now. So, we want honey. Honey. Crab. Apple. Honey and crab apple butter. The honey for this year, by the way, we weren't able to get our hands on any buckets. There was a limited supply. So we're getting some jars of honey. So this year we won't be able to jar any honey, unfortunately. The, there's certain things happen in the world where some of the bee colonies are collapsing, right? It's called colony collapse disorder. And back in 2009, eight or something, I put out a video talking about colony collapse disorder. And at the time it was controversial to a certain degree to where people were looking into it. It was sort of new and, uh, some people were blaming pesticides, some were blaming EM fields, some were blaming uh, monoculture, whatever it is. But uh, we just talked about it a little bit. That was at the beginning stage of me uh, putting out content, not mathematics specifically related, uh, just trying things out. It was fun to do. I would highly recommend looking into it if you're interested in the environment and stuff. Here is crab apple butter. And I appreciate that's from a earlier period where I was uh, a little raw on, on creating, creating videos. <laughs> nice, here's another one. this up excellent so that's four. Oh, we got uh, there's a couple of empty spots for the plums I almost forgot to include plums let's cut these and put the plums on there plum jam plum jam So, plum jam number one, Boop. right? I got the one big plum jam that I'm gonna put in a package and uh, one of the families we're gonna give a, here's a big plum jam because they really love tart, sour, right? So. We're going to give them this big one on the next one, but we need it. Oh, we don't have more plums. One, two, three. Oh, no, that's right. Here's two. Here's the other big plum jam, right? Wanted to do this as well. So we got this. Let's check it out. So these are all crab apples. We got one, two, three, four. Oh, we might be. There's only one more. Yeah, we're gonna make one more package. 
So I'm just going to wrap up the plum jam. Two big plum jams. I just basically put out enough to make sure we got all the families covered. And this should do it. Okay. This should do it. We might, uh, actually, we're going to take a couple of extra. There's a couple other family members that, uh, there's four here. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we're going to put one more package together. There's a couple of family members that uh, we don't know if they're going to show. So I'm going to take some extra jars to do this. Flip this. So I need honey, plum, and... This one was, you know what, I'm going to switch up. No, no, that's fine. That's good. We'll know what's what. And this one goes in. Much easier than going to the mall. Much better than going to the mall. A lot more love here than there, right? Plum. So let's do this. Oh, that's not honey. That's plum jam. Our honey's over here. Oh, that's the crab apple. Here's our honey. <laughs> Here's the honey. Nice. 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 Okay. So we got honey. protection and yeah we need a little bigger because it's gonna be two big jars going in here okay that's that that's that we don't need it to be that big so let's just do this That, that's that, that's that. And we can just put it on this and slip it in. So here's the plug. Cool. Take a look. And put it in like this. That's good. make sure we got because I have a little uh, list here to make sure we got everybody covered let's check it out this one is you know what I'm gonna switch up this one I'm gonna do I'm bringing out the crab apple butter and the honey actually no we'll do the same I did this twice now okay so we got that let's do this uh, Okay, so we got that, we got that, we got that. This one is, yeah, plum. Uh, okay, let's say that's that. We got, yep. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we got the extra, cool. Done deal. There's a couple more I'm going to put together, but uh, I think that's going to include something a little different. Uh, t -t 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 yeah, that's good. So this one, let's put here as well. And we need one more. Got to make sure it goes even. So these people with the one with the, another big plum jam, they don't have the crab apple butter, right? So I'm going to label this crab apple butter so they get three jars as well and there's boop. 
Oh yeah, no, we're gonna make that one as well. So this is crab apple butter. There's one more we're gonna make. Crab apple butter. Nice. So that's that. Let's put this guy here. Here's our crab apple butter. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's one family that's not getting the plums because we know they don't like. But we'll double check with them. Let's just put this one here like this. There. Let's put a little tape on it. Close it off. That way, this one is going somewhere else. And we got one more that's gonna have a honey. Honey and a big crab apple. Okay. I think they're the only ones that get a big crab apple. No, there's two people that get big crab apples. Or is that honey as well? Oh no, that is honey as well. <laughs> nice, that is honey as well. So it was, I was right, everything was accounted for. Right, let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the one extra. Okay, cool. So that's it. That's our 2019 Christmas gift packaging for family, right? Uh, and we're doing this on December 23rd. <laughs> nothing, nothing that we had to buy. Uh, we just had to use up some of the packaging material that we've gotten over the years and some of the preserves that we may ended up making this year right which is which is fantastic i think everyone will appreciate these um and uh and enjoy them for at least a few months at least a few months i know one of a couple of the families they go through honey like mad the way we do well which is a good thing to do actually you get lots of minerals and stuff out of it right uh aside from that uh you're probably going to be watching this video after we've already given the gifts to the people and that means you're going to be watching this video after the holidays most likely so i hope you guys uh you all had an amazing holiday an amazing break uh, an amazing time with friends and family and played lots of board and card games i sent out some notes this morning right i hope you played some uh, amazing games with family enjoyed lots of food and drink and uh, i wish everyone an amazing amazing new year to come okay Bye for now.